All right, YouTube. This is a um, a video explaining again how to wire your subwoofers. If you got a one ohm stable amp, and this is specifically for the new Solo X, Solo X one ohm subs. We're gonna pretend that this little pouch is my amplifier. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wire this sub, even though it's one ohm, we're gonna wire it up to two ohms. Then we're gonna go to this sub. We're gonna wire this one up to two ohms. That way when it feeds, they're paired together right here, back to our pretend amp, positive pretend amp, negative pretend amp. When those come here at the amp, it's gonna read one ohm. It's gonna think it's just one huge subwoofer at one ohm. So wired up to two, wired up to two, Whenever it's paired back down, the amp acknowledges it as one big ass subwoofer and it's going to be one ohm. So I'm going to hook the meter up and uh, show you that. And then I'll explain the steps. All right. So we got positive solid dot on these kickers. Solid dot. Positive going to our pretend amp. Then we got our negative is going to be the black with the dot going to the amp. So black dot. So this sub and black dot with, with the silver, it's got the silver in there. On the old subs, they were white dots. See the old one there, it's a white dot. And that's coil one. The new subs do not, they don't have any markings on here to let you know which terminals are coil one and coil two like the old subs do. You see that? Coil two, coil one. So we got black dot, um, black with a, um, the silver dot, black with the silver dot going into our pretend amp and then our two solid reds going together to the amp and it's coming up at one ohm like it's at 0.9 right now there you go 0.1 one ohms because my amp is one ohm stable so i'm wiring them up and then at the pretend amplifier it's one ohm all right so now i'll, sh I'll show you the steps just so if you were curious if it was actually going to come out to be the one ohm load all right so you have a jumper wire going from your red, the red one with, with the dot, around to the solid black. Solid black to there, that's your jumper wire on both subs. And then you, on the other side, the two leftover terminals is going to go to the amplifier on both subs. So I'll flip it back just because I know you guys were so confused with all of this in my other two videos. That's why I'm making a third. So you got your jumper wire on that side with those two, two lugs, terminals. And then this is going to the amp. Black with the silver dot going to the amp. Solid red going to the amp. Black going to the amp with the dot. Solid red going to the amp with the, without the dot. So solid reds, amplifier. Black dot, black with the white, the silver dot, black with the silver dot, also paired together going into the amplifier. So these two blacks, the two blacks here, they're gonna feed into the amp. I know it sounds like it's, it's redundant and I'm repeating myself, but the last video I did, it was really thorough and in-depth and people were still lost in the sauce. They could not figure it out. So I'm explaining it in the most easiest, dumbass way that I can, I can explain it. So if you're starting fresh, you're going to start with your jumper wires first. Right away, you're going to start with your jumper wire. Put the jumper wire on that red with a dot over to your solid black on both subwoofers. Let me turn this one to show you. All right. I use the red one on here, but it's okay. The color of the wire doesn't matter. It's, see there? Red with, with, the, with the dot over to the solid black. That's your jumper. On both subs, it's like that. Red over to the solid black. You got it? Solid black, jumper wire to that red with the dot. Solid black, jumper wire over to the red with the dot. And then on the other side, you have the two remaining. That red goes to your amplifier. And then this black with a dot goes to your amplifier. Same here. Red, solid red, amplifier. Black with a dot, amplifier. If you do that, 
when, when you go to your amp, you tie these together, your solid red, you know, the red's there. Solid red amplifier. These two go to the amp, and then this black and this black goes to the amp. If you wire that up like that, oh man, hold on. Yeah. So these two, you can twist together, stick it right into the amp, positive side. These two blacks, you're gonna twist together, negative side, and that's gonna give you your one ohm load. I hope that helps you guys. So we wired them up to two ohms, and then whenever the, they're back to the amp, it's wired down. All right, YouTube. This is like my third video on this, trying to explain it to you guys. The other two videos, the speakers were actually in the box, and you you didn't get to see it, like the subs directly. And then one of the design flaws for Kicker on the new Solo, Solo Xs is they didn't mark coil one and coil two. So if you need to know that, coil one is that. Go around the sub, still coil one with the dots. That's your positive coil, negative coil ones. So if you got the solid colors, solid colors, that's coil two. So there you go. I hope you guys got it. I write a comment if, uh, if, if you need help or if I need to dumb it down even more, which I don't think that I can do it any different like it's it's literally hands on showing you w w where the wires are going to all right have a good day youtube